Hello and welcome to uh, the next video in uh, using uh, Fancy Grounds 2 to play Savage Worlds Online. Uh, this time I'm just going to show off the new theme I've just finished uh, for the Rippers. Um, this includes a new Lodge extension and some of the bits I've done to update the old, very old Rippers rule set to uh, be a bit more compatible with 3.2. So, to begin with, um, if we go to the library, uh, see the uh, player's guide, Rippers Companion, something I'm currently working on. Um, what I've added here is the quick links table. And um, basically there's the Rippers armor table, so if we uh, create a new character. And uh, take it to the armor tab, you should be able to just drop a chainmail vest straight down onto uh, this character. And if we go uh, to the uh, Rippers weapon table, the same thing again, all the... Uh, Weapons are there, so we should be able to take the sword and drop that down, and we'll give them a crossbow as well. Um, ammunition is just the ammunition table. Uh, mundane possessions, again, just the mundane table, no drag and drop on those. And um, the other thing I added is the uh, list of available powers. There's not many powers available to characters in Rippers, so I've just literally just added them all in for a nice, easy reference. Uh, when you when you click on any of the links, as long as you've got the uh, Swex Players Guide loaded, it will still open up as normal. So again, you can literally just drag and drop the powers onto your character sheet. The last um, link on the quick links is uh, part of the new extension functionality I've added in uh, for lodge edges and facilities. So there's an extra card down here, lodge, when you click on that open up a, a lodge table and when you cl click new it'll give you a new lodge uh, as you can see there you can just give it a name it's very unusual that a character the, the GM would probably need more than one lodge but it's possible so this will treat it as such uh, you can fill it out with the location set its influence its membership its resources facilities the cabal threat and on the notes you can just give it a description and make any security notes these will actually scroll separately so if we just fill that up see so you're not limited to 12 lines there and the same with the security notes um, some people um, play uh, a variation on the lo the uh, lodges that the the facilities you get or the edges you get are not necessarily in the fixed order as they are in the rippers rulebook so um, for ease I've just designed this extension so it just will work either way and you would just drag it which is you need so if for example this lodge has got a mysterious benefactor you would literally just pick up the edge and drop it on mysterious benefactor and there's the description for it um, likewise as they get more lodge facilities you can drop on the armory the relic reliquary the training room the meeting hall Again, all of these have just got the description, so it's just a nice, easy way for the GM to keep track of the um, current status of the player's lodge. The only other real subtle changes, if we go back to the character sheet, is I've added in an area for the reason and the status, um, and that's it really. I mean, before you used to be able to sit, store them in there, but at least now they're on the character sheet. At this time, they're not on the mini sheet. I may well. Um, look into stretching the mini sheet out but for the moment they're just on the main sheet and that's basically it um, as I say at the moment I'm now converting the Ripper's Companion over the extra lodge facilities will be in there the extra powers but that's that's literally only just started so that'd be a little way off so just a just a heads up on what I've been up to